Good morning student. Today we will discuss our ninth unit psychology and sports. Psychology. Psychology is derived from Latin word psyche and logo. Psyche means soul and logo means study. So psychology means the study of soul. Today psychology is considered as science of behaviors. This definition has passed through many states. Earlier, psychology was considered as science of soul, but this view was rejected. Some philosophers try to define psychology as study of mind. As the words mind could not be defined clearly, what is mind? How it's uh, how it be studied? And consequently, this view was also rejected. Today, psychology is considered as science of behavior, means the study of human behaviors, which give us better understanding and controls of behaviors of the organisms as a whole. According to psychology, it is accepted as psychology is accepted as science because it involves certain principles like investigations in psychology. We do investigations, classifications, verifications, generalizations, etc. Therefore, psychology is accepted as a science. In psychology, we study we study uh, about behaviors, attitude, interest, thinking, learning, learning, emotions, incentives, motivations, consciousness, memory, uh, sentiments, imaginations, etc. Definitions of sports psychology. Sports psychology. It is a branch of applied psychology okay sports psychology it's a branch it is a part of applied psychology in sports psychology sports uh, in sports psychology we study the sports performance and behavior of our players during training and competitions means sports psychology is the study of behavior of a sports persons during training and competitions to improve his performance the purpose of sports psychology is to understand the behavior of sports person and modify him according to the need of situations and optimize the benefit of better performance and excellence okay sports psychology means the study of uh, the study of behavior of a sports persons on play field both under practice and competitive situations with a view to bring about qualitative improvement in performance and maintain same even during stress or competitions okay sports psychology means the study of behavior of a sports person during training and competitions to improve the performance, the main purpose of sports psychology is to understand the behavior of a sports persons and modify him and modify him according to the need of the situations for better performance and excellence. The importance of sports psychology is increasing as problem of sports persons has increased today. Competitions are tough than before because there is lot of stress over the players. Therefore, there is too much competitions in a sports to relieve the stress, tensions uh, and, to uh, and to modify the behavior towards the high performance. Okay. Today, there is too much in the competitions be because people are using new techniques, training methods, etc. So, there is too much tension in the players. So, the objective of sports psychology, uh, 
स्पोर्ट्स साइकोलॉजी हेल्प्स टू इम्प्रूव द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ अ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन्स स्पोर्ट्स साइकोलॉजी हेल्प्स स्पोर्ट्स साइकोलॉजी हेल्प्स टू रिलीव एंड मोडिफाइड अ बिहेवियर टू अन हाई परफॉर्मेंस इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स साइकोलॉजी एंड ऑल्सो स्पोर्ट्स साइकोलॉजी प्रिपेयर द प्लेयर्स फॉर वेरियस स्ट्रेस सिचुएशंस मोटिवेट द प्लेयर्स टू परफॉर्म बैटर्स एक्सेट्रा दिस इज स्पोर्ट्स साइकोलॉजी स्पोर्ट्स साइकोलॉजी इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ साइकोलॉजी ओके साइकोलॉजी इज द स्टडी ऑफ बिहेवियर्स बाय स्टडी हिज बिहेवियर्स वी कैन स्टडी अबाउट द पर्सन्स वी कैन स्टडी अबाउट द माइंड ऑफ अ पर्सन्स एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी कैन चेंज हिज बिहेवियर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द नीड एंड सिचुएशन इंपॉर्टेंस इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्पोर्ट साइकोलॉजी फर्स्ट इज इम्प्रूव परफॉर्मेंस द नॉलेज ऑफ स्पोर्ट साइकोलॉजी द नॉलेज ऑफ स्पोर्ट साइकोलॉजी हेल्प्स टू इम्प्रूव परफॉर्मेंस पर्सनैलिटी इम्प्रूव परफॉर्मेंस पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ अ प्लेयर्स बाय साइंटिफिक वे ऑफ मॉडिफाइंग बिहेवियर्स स्पोर्ट साइकोलॉजी हेल्प टू स्टडी द बिहेवियर ऑफ अ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द नीड सिचुएशन वी कैन मोडिफाई द बिहेवियर ऑफ अ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन एंड इट्स हेल्प टू इम्प्रूव द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ अ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन मोटिवेशन एंड फीडबैक प्रॉपर मोटिवेशन एंड प्रॉपर फीडबैक इनहेंस द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ अ प्लेस इट गिवस counseling to the players this can be guided by sports psychology sports psychology helps to understand about the sports persons so according to that we can motivate the players and also we can give the feedback feedback uh, uh performance feedback of our players check over declining performance knowledge of sports psychology helps to control to check helps to controls uh helps to control check the declining performance thus helpful for players and coaches with the help of sports psychology the sports person can understand about his behavior understand so he can understand about his declining performance according to that he can control his performance understanding the learning rate the knowledge of psychology helps to understand the learning rate learning curve and developmental patterns modifying behaviors sports psychology helps to modify proper behaviors of a sports persons which helps in improvement of results and bring better adjustment in various situations with the help of sports psychology we are able to understand the behavior of sports persons okay sports uh, with the help of sports psychology we understand about the behavior of a sports person we understand about the sports person so we can modify the behavior of a sports persons according to the need of the situations and also we can bring better adjustment in various situation improve mental ability sports psychology improve mental ability of the sports persons thus its benefit for development of personality uh, by um by sports psychology we can change uh, we can change the mind of a sports persons according to that the personality we can change the personality of a sports person control behavior during competitions at the time of competition there is too much stress tensions etc to the players so sports psychology develop proper behavior set up during competition it help the players to deal with spectators means to deal with audience crowd etc more able it controls the behavior 
of the sports person thus better results can be achieved overcoming the stress the knowledge of sports psychology helps to overcome stress and reduce tensions of the players that thus enhance performance and develop confidence uh, with the uh, with the help of sports psychology with the help of sports psychology we are to understand about the behavior of a sports person according to his behaviors we can find out about the players so according to that we can change uh, we can able to overcoming the stress it's have to overcoming the stress and also helps to reduce the tension of the players and helps to improve the performance and develop self confidence in a person developing good relationship sports psychology promote close relationship with other team members therefore it's have been overall performance it's have been overall performance and good team effort understanding the need sports psychology helps to understand the needs of the sports persons thus prospective problems can be sorted out well in advance with the help of sports psychology we can find out the need of the sports person so according to that we can sort out we can sort the need in advance better selections the knowledge of sports psychology guide the coach for better selections of the players with the help of sports psychology we understand about the behavior of the sports person we can understand about the mind about his ability so according to that we can select the player better training methods each as each individual each and every individual is unique in itself thus proper training methods is guided by sports psychologists by which better results can be achieved with the help of sports psychology we can uh, find out the ability of a sports persons according to their quality ability we can make a training methods for them improve coaching skill knowledge of sports psychology improve coaching skills training and training skill thus effective learning take place with the help of sports psychology we get a knowledge about the um about the persons okay with the help of sports psychology we get a knowledge about sports person so according to that we can give the coaching training etc to the sports person these are the importance of sports psychology growth and development the term growth and development are often interchanged but it is worth to keep in mind the distinctions which is made between them or at least to understand why they are so often used together okay growth and develops the people think that growth and development are same but growth and developments are different growth growth the term growth implies an increase in size when the body or any part is described as having growth it usually means that it becoming it become larger or heavier thus it is thus we say growth of arm brain muscles body etc okay growth means increase it is a process of increase or addition in size height length weight etc and growth can be measured it is a uh, quantitative change growth is a quantitative change which can be measured for example increase in size weight height etc and growth uh, growth next is development development implies certain qualitative change 
or change in characters leading to maturity of improvement in functioning or we can say that development means change in shape form or structures so as to improve its working or functioning the growth is qualitative change which can't be measured the development can't be measured it is a qualitative change for example arms grow uh, arms grow larger but also develop undergoing certain change which equips them for better working okay growth growth is a uh, growth means growth is a quantitative change for example change in size shape body weight etc which can be measured development is a qualitative change uh, qualitative change and uh, it can't be measured it continue from birth till death let's study about the difference between growth and development what is the difference between growth and development the first is growth is used in purely physical term growth is physical um, physical change okay growth is physical change it generally refers to change in size length height weight of the individuals growth is um, quantitative expert come uh, come into the domain of growth growth is one of the aspect of development growth does not continue throughout the life it is stop when the maturity has been attained growth describe the change which take place in a particular aspect of the body and behavior of an individual this change may be physical or physiological the change produced by growth on the subject of measurement they may be quantified quantified growth may or may not bring development for example as a child grow uh, grow in terms of weight by becoming fat but his growth may or may not bring any functional improvement or development growth is cellular and it can be measured development development implies overall change in shape form or structures resulting in improved working or functioning it include the change in quality of characters rather than in quantitative aspect development is wider and comprehensive terms it refers to development refers to overall change in the individuals and growth is the one aspect of it growth is one part of it development is a continuous process it continues from birth till death development describe the change in the individual as a whole and does not uh, does not this change in its path these changes are functional psychological etc development implies improvement in functioning and behaviors and hence bring qualitative change development is also possible without growth as we see in case of some children as they do not grow in terms of height weight or size but they do experience functional improvement or development in physical social emotional or intellectual aspect development is functional or organizational thus a subjective interpretation is one change so we can say that growth growth is visible that is visible change and development is invisible change growth growth can be measured directly in terms of size height weight etc and development development cannot be measured directly for is, for instance measurement of speed strength mental ability etc growth continue up to certain stage of an individuals okay growth stop after attaining a maturity but development continue 
from birth till death. The limit of growth are set by heredity of an individual and the development is more affected by uh, environment available to the persons. Growth. Growth is a quantitative change and development is a qualitative change. Growth means change in size, shape, length, weight, height, etc. which can be measured and development means change in shape, form. Uh, develop means overall change in shape, form or structures resulting in improve. Okay, De uh, develop, uh, development helps in improving the working or functioning and developments can be measured directly. Growth is one aspect of the development process. Growth is one part of the development and development is a wider and comprehensive terms. Develop means overall change. Okay? Development means overall change in the individuals. And growth is one aspect of development. Development does not continue throughout the life. It is stopped when the maturity has attained. For example, height after attaining a maturity is stopped. But development is a continuous process from birth till death. Growth describes the change which take place in particular aspect of the body and the behaviors. Growth, uh, growth may or may not bring development. Okay, growth may or uh, may or may not bring development. For example, child grow in terms of weight means increase <laughs> increase in weight of a child. This increase in weight does not bring any functional improvement or development. Okay, so growth may may or may not bring development. For example, increase in weight. Increase in weight does not bring any functional improvement. In, in same manner, development, development, uh, development is also possible without growth. For example, um, uh, for example, improvement, uh, functional improvements or developmentals without gain in height, weight, size. Okay, and development is also possible without growth. For example, without increase in size, weight, height of uh, individuals are uh, improving in their uh, internal functional systems. And growth is measures, development is not measures. This is the difference between growth and development. Developmental characteristic at different states of growth. What are the developmental characteristics? Characteristics, characteristics at different states of growth. So, growth. Growth means physical change. Growth is physical change which can be viewed and measured. For example, increase in size, weight, becoming larger or heavier. This physical change, okay, growth means physical change and growth can be seen. And development, development is a qualitative change. Development is a qualitative change. Uh, for example, uh, qualitative change. This Thus, the development consists of series of progressive process that occurs in orderly manners. So, development helps in proper functioning. Developments are qualitative change. Let's discuss about the states of growth and developments and the characteristics. Characteristics at different states of growth and development. The first is prenatal states. That is from conception till birth. Second is infancy or babyhood states. That is from birth to two years. Third, early childhood states from three years to six years. Later childhood states from seven to twelve years. 
adolescence from 12 to 19 years adulthood stays from 20 to 60 years and old age means 60 years onwards first is prenatal stage in this stage the development of individual start from conception period it stays are zygote stays then embryo stays and then fetus um, stays and zygote Zygote stage means in this stage the cell that is formed when the male and female's reproductive cells are joined. Embryo stage embryo stage means unborn but developing child, and photo stage means unborn human baby more than eight weeks. At this stage, at this stage. Uh, the development during this stage only in mother's womb whatever the development taking place it is under the mother's womb and at this stage uh, at this stage growth is more rapid okay in this stage gro growth is very rapid during this uh, stage and it start from single cells to the multiple cells of the body Therefore, at this stage, the mother should take a proper diet. For development of foetus, she should go for regular medical checkup, follow the doctor's advice, and she should always remain happy. Moreover, she should live in a healthy atmosphere. For the proper uh, development, for proper growth and development of a child. Next is infancy or stays this is a stays from birth birth to two years okay from birth to two years in this stage growth and development occurs in a progressive manners okay in this stage there is growth as well as development in a progressive manners progressive manners uh, individual gain considerable there is at this stage there is increase in weight height okay increase in weight and height of a child the cognitive development cognitive development that is mental development start as a child try to balance in two years till two years the child tried to balance itself and Try to gain controls over the big muscles. Therefore, there is a cognitive development at this stage. And um, vocab vocabulary is with the simple, simple words. And at this stage, attachment of child with the mothers is more. To meet his basic needs like trust, hunger, etc. So, at this stage also um the child uh, should be there should be a proper feeding of the child uh, child should be provided hygienic environment sufficient rest and sleep vaccination of child etc okay in uh, in in infancy growth growth take place the growth is more rapid in infancy that is from birth to two years the growth and developments both growth and development take place and next is early childhood stage early childhood stage means from three years to six years okay early early childhood stage uh, from three years to six years at this stage the growth growth is slow okay growth is slow and it takes place in sip or brush after some period of time in this stage neuromuscular development is slow thus weak coordination ability that will be the um, neuromuscular development is slow that is uh, nervous system and muscular uh, muscular system development is slow therefore there is a weak coordination between the nerve between the muscle Intellectual development, development of their mind is also slow during this stage. Learning takes place through um, cramming, through repetitions and practice. Moreover, it is also slow. 
and social relation is only with the close one so early childhood early childhood means from 3 years to 6 years in this stage growth is slow and due to uh, due to uh, the slow neuromuscular development their coordination ability is also less they are unable to coordinate properly and uh, low intellectual development therefore the learning take uh, learning is less therefore um, they want learning take place through cramming repetitions practice and slow and uh, social relationship is only with the close one the child uh, the child should practice in multi multi activity at this stage the child should uh, play various type of activity this activity should be easy right exercise and playful with lot of recreational game means fun game different different types of activity and the child should have a hygienic habit hygienic habit morals value should be inculcated during this stage later childhood stage later childhood stage means from 7 to 12 years in 7 to 12 years at this stage growth is slow whereas the development is fast okay at this stage growth is slow but development is fast and child gain child gain slight improvement in flexibility there is increase in flexibility coordinations strength is improved endurance is also developed and speed and this state their neuromuscular coordination is improved neuromuscular coordination is improved therefore there is a better coordination between various movement they are able to control their body due to proper neuromuscular coordinations they should practice in curriculum activity they should practice in different types of activity at this stage the child should be guided for the positive social quality team effort hygienic habit at this stage intellectual developments come through uh, repetitions practice and experience social development come through family members means social quality it is come through family friends emotional change bring interactions uh, close interaction with the friend and child uh child has lots of energy during stage therefore the child should perform various activity therefore the child should participate in different types of activity the good education should be given uh should be given to the child and he should follow the hygienic habit next is adolescence adolescence means 13 to 19 years it is the most delicate and challenging period for the parents at this stage children want to live independence as they consider themselves to take responsible like adults um, importance at this stage they give importance to the friends and they neglect the family they don't obey their family so adolescence needs to be guided properly they should motivate to develop value uh, controlling their emotions proper use of finance etc in adolescence 13 to 19 due to unexperience due to unexperience um, unexperience they have uh, it is more challenging period for the children due to less experience to the children at this stage the child want to uh, leap independence they thinks they are uh, now big therefore they want to leap independence they don't obey the uh, parents family they neglect the families and give more importance to the friends only so at this stage teenagers should be motivated to develop moral value moral value develop social quality in them so that they can obey the family and also control their emotion and uh, 
proper use of finance etc these are the stages of growth and development at different stages of human